just have an aging population. Um, but overall the population might be declining, so the young people are leaving um, to go to the larger urban areas. And so that's where the increased demand with increased aging population in the rural areas. You know, persons that especially need rural transit because it's providing a critical uh, life-sustaining link to whether it's dialysis or medical trips or just social calls, people that are in their homes because they live somewhere rural. There are about 38 rural transit districts across the state and they're faced with some challenges as well. Just like lots of folks, there's an increase in, in a demand on their services, but they're also facing a, a limited or fewer funds. So they're having to, we're working with them to try and stretch out those resources and look at what gives you the biggest bang for your buck in services. We do a wide variety of things. Probably, a, well, actually my first project at TTI was to do a review of public transit, current services and needs. And, Henderson County, Texas. The job there was on behalf of TxDOT and East Texas Council of Governments to review the, their current demand response service and where it's going because there were interested residents that wanted to consider other modes, not just demand response. One of the projects we've had recently was with rural planning organizations, which is a, a new type of organization in Texas. Uh, so I did visit with uh, many county judges across the state to help them organize and do some transportation planning and just get organizationally prepared. To, uh, to address transportation in the rural areas. There's a growing interest in flexible transit routes that are a hybrid between fixed and demand response. We use peer groups to, to evaluate some of those responses and fill in gaps. And each of the five peer groups we have in Texas for rural transit express some interest in commuter or intercity service, also a change in fixed or flexible routes. We have lots of talented people that work in all different aspects of uh, rural transportation and, and that's, that's what's fun about it is you get to go in and help people solve problems. It's, it's really rewarding to go out and, and, and help people and see things get done and um, we learn as we do and have these experiences and then they benefit from from uh, maybe our expertise and, and, and we get a lot of a, a benefit and uh, from learning different situations and be able to share what we might learn here and put it somewhere else. And, hey, it worked here, let's try it over there. And th that's probably the, the, the most fun, most rewarding part of it.